Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray. Welcome, this is Studio Ray. Check it out guys, as you can see, I have another product review slash how to and pretty much what's in the box, pretty much. All right, as you can see, um, I have in front of you guys, I have a brand new Sand Swift gray water pump. Now, and also what you see, I have my old Sand Swift gray water pump. Now, a couple of days ago, this pump failed, requiring me to buy a new one. This one here, I utilize it for my laundry room. This pump is required because, unfortunately, in, in my household, my laundry room is located on a lower level from the sewer line. So in that case, that gray water has to be pumped up to the next level by through some pipes attached to pretty much the sewer line that uh, leads the house. So this is what this pump was installed for. I built this laundry room say about 10, 15 years ago and I needed a pump and doing all my research I found this one to, to fit the bill. So this is this type of pump is ideal if you're doing it for a laundry room, uh, for a utility sink, for a shower, and wet bar. There's this is very flexible and it does the job and again, unfortunately this one ended up failing on me. At last, I think when I installed this, I installed this I think 2011 or 2012 I believe. I gotta check my records. So it lasts at least a good seven to eight years which in my book that's pretty good for the price of it. Alright, um, I didn't pay that much for it. I think I paid about $200 for it. Now, what I'm going to do at a later video, I'm going to take this apart and actually let you guys see how it's put together and look at the motor. So, I'll put a link below on this particular product and it just again, to remind you guys, that link will be affiliate. If you decide to pick this up, please consider using that link. It does support the channel and I greatly appreciate it. So, let's get into it. All right, this can pre pretty much be an open boxing. I'm going to show you what comes in the box and what each part means as far as help, helping you put this together. Then I'm going to take you over to my laundry room and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm putting it together for my setup. All right, guys, All right, let's open up the box. And you guys show you exactly what comes in it. All right, you guys are going to have your directions on setup. Sorted parts here. And right here's your unit, guys. Okay guys, um, here we go. Now, as you can see, this is the pump. It's pretty much similar to the old one. All right, now the only thing I do recognize with the updated version, when, the, when you got the old one, as you can see right here, these are seals, so you have to cut, cut them off to uh, access. Uh, in, in this case, they're not doing that. All right, right here, as you can see, um, it's already open. Now, to my understanding, by looking at this, they give you one cap. Now, that cap is going to seal up whatever portion if you're not using, all right, because you have certain access points. And let me show This is the access point, access point, access point. This is your discharge. You also have an access point on this side, like I see right here, and an access point here. So, and as you can see, they give you all the, f the fittings pretty much. All right, all you're gonna have to do is apply the, the piping that attached to this. All right, other than that, they give you pretty much all the rubber 
bushings to make this work. So it's all about how you decide to run the piping. It's very easy to configure, all right, once you get an idea on how you're gonna set it up. So let me, uh, let me show you, stand by, let me show you my attachments. All right, guys, just, uh, just to give you an idea overall before we go over to my laundry room. Now, you're gonna need a, a PVC pipe, all right? Now, I'm using, I think this is a half inch or an inch it may be, all right? Now, this is my discharge part. And as you can see, this is from the old unit. As you can see, that's my old, un old one and this is the new one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm most likely gonna swipe this out. So, and that's what you're gonna do, put this here and that's gonna go right here in the middle for my discharge, all right? So when you engage it, all that water will shoot up, in my case, shoot up to the second floor where my uh, sewer line is, all right? And how I'm using it, I'm using one of the access points in the bottom for my, my drainage plug, all right? And so I'm gonna take this and how I have my setup, I'm gonna attach, I already have a I thread it that will go into here and I'm attach it this way. I hope that makes sense to you guys. All right. Like that. So trying to it's the, yeah, yeah, like that. All right. So that's what I'm doing. This is coming from my utility sink. Well, attached to the bottom. So and that's pretty much it, guys. It's not really much to it. It's very simple to put together. It's ideally for the DIY person who's, again, doing a small bathroom. And again, you need to take that gray water and push it up to the next floor to uh, get it out of your house or attached to your, your, um, your sewer line. So, and that's pretty much it. So I just want to show you a quick look at it. Let's get over to my laundry room and I'm going to show you how I'm setting it up and how I'm going to install it. All right, guys, as you can see, Got the pump over here now this is how again i'm set my setup as you can see as i explained to you before i end up putting like a a union connection between my utility sink right here so it makes it easier for me to remove this all right so i got a um fitting right here and that's coming from the other side of the wall for my wet bar and this part here is the vent pipe, or discharge pipe, I should say, that's attached to another union. And that continue upward. And I have a cutter file also when I have to service it. And that goes all the way up to the, to the second floor to vent out or attach to the sewer system. Or waste pipe, I should say, not the sewer system, the waste pipe. So that's what I have now. So what I'm going to do, and this is going to be my vent pipe. It, and I have that also set up with a coupling that will fit right there. So I'm not going to use that part. I'm going to use my existing ones. They're still in excellent condition, so I don't need that, that part. So let me just continue on, on setting that up. And But that's how I'm setting up this uh, gray water pump for my system. And again, and that's this is simply discharging the gray water from my washing machine and my utility sink. All right, so it's not a heavy load. All right, so it's that's exactly what it's made for. All right, so let me continue on on getting this set up. All right, guys, I got everything set up here. All right, I had a little leak before initially. So you guys gotta make sure when you tighten up your pipes that this is going all the way down and you tighten it. I had a little leak, it wasn't tight enough and water was coming out. So I had to disconnect and um, force this further down to get it all the way down. But that's pretty much it, guys. All right, so. Got my gray water pipe coming in. 
I have a connector here so I can disconnect this unit when I need to service it or replace it really. This is a discharge that's going up. This is the vent pipe going out. And just to let you know, I have a, a cutoff right up there for the waste pipe. So when I disconnect, I can cut that off also. So I have several cutoffs and quick disconnect to take this all off. All right, it just makes it much easier. As well as just disconnecting these. So moving the pipes out of the way. But that's pretty much it, guys. It's a real easy unit to put in once you figure out your your pipes how you want to run them in my case it made more sense instead of put it underneath i decided just to run it across the wall and put it in the corner because in relation to my waste pipe that's on the second floor is closer to this wall so that's why i set it up in that fashion so wherever you set it up be conscious of where that waste pipe on the upper level is because that's it's much easier. I think it's easier to put it closer to that point. So when you're pumping that water up, it doesn't have that far to go. All right. And let gravity do, do, do the rest. And that's pretty much it, guys. All right. I hope this helps you. Um, as far as this system is concerned, again, this is my second, actually my third time replacing it. And the second time, it lasts about seven to eight years so that's not too bad for the price about 200 something dollars for eight years um i'm able to have my washing machine and utility sink down in the sub basement all right so that's it guys it's been a long video i just want to get to the point i'm not going to ramble guys like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one later